Hi, I'm Dr. Brent Larson. Welcome to the video. I want to discuss with you the eight symptoms of iron deficiency. This is something that I wasn't really even aware of. It wasn't on my radar until I actually started to experience some of these symptoms and some of my kids did as well. And besides the symptoms, think about the general population who this is going to pertain to. It's going to be women for sure because women are bleeding, right? You have a menstrual cycle, at least for that uh, period of your life, you have a menstrual cycle, you're losing excess blood. The other part of the population could be children, and it could actually be athletes as well. And I look back and I can see that I was probably actually iron deficient when I was training very, very heavily and waking up early and then going to practice later, late, uh, later in the day. I was probably iron deficient as well. So let's cover some of the symptoms. Number one is air hunger, and I had this one for sure. And if you've ever had air hunger, think of it like there's air all around us, obviously, right? But you're trying to take a deep breath in, or just a breath, and it's like you can't get any air in. Like you're hungry for the air, it's there, you can see it, or not see it, but it's around you, but you can't get it in your lungs. It's like you can't expand your lungs big enough or the air doesn't want to come in. It's a very, very strange feeling and I've had this numerous times. So air hunger could be a sign of iron deficiency. Now to back up a little bit, iron deficiency, what does iron deal with in the body? Just a few things, red blood cells and oxygen. So you have to be thinking circulation here and oxygen transport around the body. That's one of the main functions. There's others of course, it's not the video for that. I wanna show uh, deficiency symptoms, but think blood, and oxygen circulation with iron. So number two, yawning. If you want, if you're always yawning, you know, chronically yawning all the time, think iron deficiency. Number three, choose ice. Actually, a patient. Um, now that I think back, ten plus years ago, she came in. I forget who it was now, but she came in and she asked me, "Why do I want to chew ice all the time?" And at that time, I didn't have an answer. I never looked it up in my resources. But I realized later that it's actually because she was iron deficient. And it just makes you want to chew ice all the time. So it's kind of a strange phenomenon. Number four, cold hands and feet. Think circulation, obviously. Now this also could be thyroid disorders, iodine deficiency. There's other things as well, heart issues. But think iron deficiency as well with this because you're not getting the oxygen transported around the body. Number five, frequent sighing. So think of like yawning, sighing, air hunger as all just slightly different manifestations of the same process, okay? Uh, number six, being pale. Now obviously, complexion and skin tone is different across the board with humans on this planet, right? But if you're pale but you shouldn't be pale, or you're pale and you never were pale before, think iron deficiency. You're not getting that good, strong blood. Uh, number seven, if you're a woman, short periods. So if just the time frame that you have your period is very short, could be a potential iron deficiency. Number eight, brittle nails. The nails can tell us a lot about the human body. Maybe I'll make a video on that at some point in time. But brittle nails that also peel. So that could be an iron deficiency um, issue as well. Here's my blog, drlarson.com. That's my main kind of website that I use. This video, because we're on YouTube or some other video sharing service, it's not designed to help you diagnose your problem, but to give you information. Okay, like all my videos, I get comments and questions and things about, about you know, what should I take, what should I do, I don't know. We're all unique. We have commonalities, we're all unique, but these videos are here to help you gain knowledge and education so that you can either use that for yourself or bring it to your doctor, ask questions, ask intelligent questions so you know what's going on with your body. So this was eight symptoms uh, that potentially could lead or could be from an iron deficiency. If you have questions, go to drlarson.com. Otherwise, I'll see you again on, a, on another video.